Hello, it's Marco Matos, Chief from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be looking at HDRI Maker 2.0 Pro. So the way to install it, you've got to download 40 gigs worth of files. There are just so many options for HDRI. Once you've downloaded, you go Edit, Preferences, Install, and you double click on the installation add-on. And then once you've installed the add-on, first what you've got to do is you've got to select where all your zips are, which are probably in the downloads, where you're going to unzip them all, and this is just in case you've got your own library. And this add-on will go through all that and unzip the files for you so you don't have to worry about it. So once we're in the Blender file, we can press N to bring up the side panel. And then I can press HDRI Maker. From here, we can find our HDRI. So we can come up the top here and we can select a whole bunch of uh, locations. So for instance, let's have a look at grass. And then if we come into here, that doesn't look too bad. Maybe we'll click on cloudy layers. Let's have a look what that looks like. I'm gonna make it a 4K texture. And then I'm just gonna click add. And we can see that now we've got a HDRI in the scene, but it doesn't mean a lot at the moment, does it? From here, we can add a plane in at zero, zero, just by going to the background controls, HDRI projection. And now we've got a plane. And now if we zoom in and out, we can see that the car is sitting on a plane of some sorts. However, it seems to be out of scale a little bit. So what I'm just gonna do is increase the size of the car. So let's go back into object mode, like so. What does that look like? Oh, that doesn't look too bad. I think it might be a little bit too big. There we go, eh, a little bit wider. So this is a car that I'm still working on, but I'm just using as reference. And we can see that it's looking quite nice, just like that. Now I've got a whole bunch of controls here. These are the controls for the sun, so we can add sync sun. There we go, now we can see that the car's now got an ever so slightly shadow down the bottom. And we can select the force of the sun. We can bump that up a little bit. And then this is the incline of the sun. And this is the rotation of the sun. There we go. Here we change the brightness of the HDRI. And we just got some more options over here. I don't know what EX stands for. Exposure, sorry. We can change the color and the saturation of the color. That's pretty cool. And then here we can actually rotate the HDRI. So we get some funky effects. <laughs> now let's say we kind of wanted to raise this area up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is get Shift A. Let's add in a mesh. It's going to go numpad 7, G. I'm just going to do this roughly. Let's kind of rotate that to there. Let's extrude just along that edge. And just kind of doing this. There we go. What I'm going to do is just make that, maybe extrude that a little bit further out. Let's put another edge loop in here and grab this stuff here, G to the Z. And so we've kind of got this kind of like raised area just here. What I can do is put the tick box next to projection. Let's bring that over. And then whilst this is selected, I can click add to ground. Let's just go smooth that, shade smooth. And so now that's kind of given a little bit of extra geometry. Maybe we can even just come in and pull this down. And with a little bit of work, we can obviously refine that. If we want, we could make this whole area um, a little bit rougher. So I can go Shift A, let's add another plane. I'm just gonna scale that out. Rotate to the Z, let's just keep scaling it. Into edit mode, W, subdivide, subdivide. One more, I'm just gonna select that. Come up here into proportional editing, change it to random. I can go G to the Z, let's just scroll up. And I kind of want it to something like this. So now we've got, and got a little bit of geometry to the ground. And once again, I can select that and add to ground. And now we can see that there's a little bit of warpage on the ground. So that's definitely pretty cool. Let me just show you some of the other stuff that we've got. Water Riverside. Yeah, let's check it out. Hamburg Canal. Let's add that one. Um, let's just get rid of our cubes. And then we can see the type of stuff we're looking at, depending on how the camera is. Obviously, this isn't the best to have a HDRI projection. So, I mean, we could do it something like that. And so I'm just going to pick a bunch of random things. Oh, wow, that looks kind of cool. And as well here, what we can do is we can actually adjust the height. So it kind of shrinks it in or expands it out. And so we've got less warpage on these statues here, but obviously this looks like a micro machine now. <laughs> and then here we've got top light. You know, we can increase the brightness above, dome size. 
Um, so if we scroll all the way out, we can see that this is how it actually works. So the HDRI add-on is available on the Blender Market or Gumroad. Go check it out. The link is in the description. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and keeps up to date with my content.